everybody, it's me, Miss Norris, and today we're going to be doing a short drawing activity called Yes, You Can Draw a Donkey, because yes, you can draw a donkey, and today I'm going to show you how in some easy-to-follow steps. All you're going to need is something to write on. Today I'm going to be using my dry erase board, and something to write with. I'm going to be using my dry erase marker. So if you are ready to get started, so am I. Let's do this. As you know, as you might notice, today my board is horizontal instead of vertical because our donkey's bodies are a little bit longer instead of taller. So I wanted to be make sure we have enough space. Is everybody ready? All right. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to make a kind of a a teardrop on its side or an oval kind of a, a bean a thumb a shape kind of like this this is going to be your donkey's head all right and the next thing you're going to do is you're just going to draw a line that divides that teardrop thumb kind of in half on one half you're going to draw a circle and a little pupil. And on the front part down here, you're going to draw a little tiny nostril. And you guys know this if you've been drawing with me. If I'm drawing with you, it's a happy time, so I'm going to make a happy donkey. Now, this doesn't look like much of a donkey yet, but wait, there's more. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to give our donkey some kind of floppy ears. So we're going to make the shape of a skinny teardrop coming off the top of its head like this. A skinny teardrop and another skinny teardrop. It almost makes a heart. So if you want to, I guess you could draw a heart with a line down the middle. <clears throat> it's up to you. Now. We got the head done. Now let's give this donkey a body. So just a little ways away from your head, you're gonna draw a big oval. This is gonna be your donkey's body. So you can make your oval as big or as small as you want, but it's gonna be bigger than your head. But now he has just a floating head. So we're gonna draw two lines. One that starts at about the line that you drew to draw it in half, and another line that connects. It almost makes a triangle. You see that? All right, now we need to give him some little legs. So at the front of our oval, we're gonna make two lines that go straight down. And at the back of our oval, we're gonna do the same thing and close them off like rectangles. You're going to make two more tiny rectangles. I like thinking of it like an L. It's a capital L, down and over. And then you got to do a backwards L, down and over. But notice they're shorter because they're further back. And donkeys don't just have little, little toes like we do. They have little hooves. So we're going to draw a line at the bottom of each of our rectangles that shows our little hooves. There's one final step. If you've been to a, a party, you might have played this game before. We need to pin a tail on our donkey. So right out the back side of your oval, you're gonna do just a curvy line and then some fringe. Fringe is just little tiny lines, like fireworks. And there you have it. You just drew a donkey. Ladies and gentlemen, please experiment drawing your donkeys bigger, smaller, longer, shorter necks, longer, shorter legs. Maybe you pinned your tail in the wrong spot. Who knows? Have some fun. It's your donkey and do what you want with it. If you liked this video, please hit that thumbs up button at the bottom of the page. And if you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe to my channel so that you can get notifications for further videos. I'll see you next time.